Uh, Ralph, I know you've touched on it briefly before, but just can you get um, your insights into your relationship with your fellow Spaniards on tour? Does Miguel or Sergio, have they played a mentoring role in your career at any point in time, or, or more, what's your relationship like with those more experienced guys? Well, I mean, uh, like in my case, uh, like the reason why I play golf is uh, thanks to Orlando Ball, who I saw him win both, both Masters in 94 and 99. I mean, that's definitely what made me dream about being a pro. I also remember uh, growing up watching videos of Seven. <coughs> I didn't get to see him play live in his prime, but I, I did watch plenty of videos. And I mean, and the way he he reinvented golf, I mean, was was obviously uh, something that I'll, I mean, we, no Spanish and no European or no one in the world could, could forget. And then most most recently, I mean, Sergio was like a really good example for us because it was like this really really young kid with with great dreams that was uh, that I mean that uh, played great great golf uh, since he was very very young so it was really someone that we we always try to try to to emulate and uh, I do about Miguel I do have to say that he's a uh, one of the best uh, pros I've, I've met uh, with, with young guys. I mean, I remember my first year on tour, yeah, of course, I look at Miguel like if it were God, pretty much. And, and he's just be so so relaxed and so humble that he just come over, speak with us. I mean, he'd, he'd watch us hit balls. He spent uh, 20, 35 minutes of his time just uh, giving us tips, trying to teach us stuff. And, and, and that's, I mean, for, for someone who's first year on tour, that's unbelievable to have from, from someone like him.